Welcome back. So for you early risers out there, you got a glimpse of a partial solar eclipse. So take a look at that. That's a shot over Reed's Lake that a viewer sent in. We didn't get the full show like they did in Greenland and Siberia, but still, it's amazing. So many pictures out there. All right, question tonight is from Luke. He wants to know, how was today's eclipse different than a total solar eclipse? Yeah, this is an excellent question. So let's just talk about eclipses in general because it's really interesting. So just at the basics, at the first level, an eclipse, a solar eclipse happens anytime the moon comes between the earth and the sun like that. But it doesn't always happen so perfectly. It has to have some really specific conditions in order for this to happen. But when it does, this is usually the impact of the sun on the moon and onto the earth. You get one narrow stripe where the shadow is perfect and you get a total eclipse. So the moon completely covers the sun, but you get a much broader area on the earth where you can see a chunk taken out of the sun like we did this morning. So these are the different types of eclipses. A total eclipse is when the moon perfectly blocks out the sun like we just showed you. A partial eclipse is when the moon only covers part of the sun from your perspective on the earth. And an annular eclipse, well this happens when the moon is so far away in orbit that you can still see a portion of the sun around it. So partial eclipse looks like a bite taken out of the sun. A total eclipse, total solar eclipse is when you get that cool corona. And an annular solar eclipse is when you get this ring of fire around the sun. So why don't we see these too frequently? It's because the moon is on a five degree tilt. So Michelle, these only happen at all across the world one to two times a year. I thought it looked amazing. I thought it was the neat. pictures were just incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, thanks. And if you have a weather question for Ellen, just let us know. Shoot us an email at the7 at woodtv.com or you can tag Ellen on social media.